Okay, we are live. Welcome everybody to the walk with Gino Shaw and my wife Carrie. Hello. Welcome. Yes. Um apologies for the camera angle or the lens. I don't know why one side is like um lighter. Yeah, there's white on your side. Yeah. Sometimes it's on my side. Maybe the mm -hmm. lens is dirty. I don't I don't know. But yeah. uh, anyways, we are here. And uh, we wanted to talk about joy and how it's joy is different from what I initially thought it was it was going to be. Mm -hmm. Right. Yep. 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 Because when you think of joy, you think of um, ha 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 he he, you know, <coughs> no. laughter. You think of joy, um, the joy, you know, when you receive something good, right? When you receive the good news or like. No, that's, well, that's that's what I wanted to talk about. Well, before we get too far into it, let's go ahead and pray. What What do you think, right? That's yeah. That's a temporary joy, right? No, I have but, an answer. For, I have an answer for that. But the joy of the Lord is different. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's like you just have this joy that's come from within. You can't help it, but just. I don't know, laugh, cry, dance, you know, praise, worship at the same time, you know, like this, this bubbling in your spirit, you just yeah. can't help it, but just, you know, to laugh out loud. Yes, but I'll pray. Um, just um, thank you, Lord. What? Okay. What? what? Thank you, Lord, for this broadcast. We just <laughs> plead the blood of Jesus over this broadcast, Lord. Okay. And we just... Thank you, Lord, for using us. We yield 100% to the Holy Spirit. Mm -hmm. 100%. Use this yes. Holy Spirit. Bless yes. our tongue. May we speak the words of God this very day. We thank you, Lord, that you order our steps and that we are obedient. We follow you, Lord. Yes. We thank you, Lord, that you flood our hearts with your light. Yes. So that we may do your will. Yes. Joyfully. Yeah. Joyfully, yeah. Father. <laughs> and you get all the glory, Father, out of this, Lord. Your name shall be praised. Your name shall be great, Father God. Because it's all about you. And we're just so excited, Father, you know, to do your will. This is why we're here, Lord. And also, Lord, any what we're doing is not of our own father god i ask that the holy spirit lead us guide us um help us you know and that um bless us word anoint us word that is coming out of our mouth lord we only speak what you want us to speak and lord i pray that you know your children will receptive to hear your words today lord father god right and we pray all of this in jesus mighty name amen yeah amen huh i was just getting something anyway i was getting a partial vision there mm -hmm. so um yeah i think this message i don't know why you're praying that i i saw someone with a leopard print leopard print that had something like a jacket or a shirt or something with a leopard print on it mm -hmm. so this video may be for you <laughs> all right so what i wanted to get into was just um i want to talk about joy and joy is not exactly how we think it is uh so what's the difference between joy and happiness you know happiness is when something from the physical something from the physical realm temporarily makes us happy let's say it's a new job it could be a promotion you win the lotto maybe um, your spouse maybe a new car you know yeah and uh you're just so happy it brings you so much happiness in that moment mm -hmm. you know but what is joy mm -hmm. you touched on it a little bit you said something about within mm -hmm. okay joy is a choice joy is a choice it is an attitude mm -hmm. of your heart and spirit. Yeah. Okay, so joy is a choice. Mm -hmm. And so, 
and the thing about it is it's it's not necessarily uh tied to your circumstance no. like happiness it matches the happy situation you know like i say you, you know new job promotion mm -hmm. car see it, your happiness is well wow i'm happy and as you know as long as you're on this earth you will never ever ever be completely satisfied yeah that's just that's just the way it works mm -hmm. you're not gonna find someone on this earth that's like oh, wow i'm just perfect mm -hmm. just you know you're not gonna find that there's always something else to go for there's always something else to achieve there's something else you know mm -hmm. uh to go after uh joy is not married to a happy situation but it but it can be obtained during duress it can be obtained during times of stress mm -hmm. believe it or not time of anxiety time of you know in hardship right and but but yet you still have the joy yeah and I, and I have some examples and this is more or less towards focus but i think it's a good example like there was this story about um holocaust survivor um a lot of his um uh prisoner um uh, i don't know what you call them um fellow prisoners that he was with they end up getting sick or they died but he's i forgot his name but he said his secret his secret was when he said his secret was when he was in the concentration camp and they used to let him out in it in the yard and the whole yard was like really muddy and whatnot but uh this survivor he said in the far corner of the fence there was this one little flower and he said he would go out there and he would focus and watch that little flower grow and he said that helped him survive that the the holocaust and that goes to show you that you know what we focus on it really helps us so much you know what you focus on you know obviously in a holocaust you could focus on the torturing you could focus on the uh murdering and the killing and yeah that's going on but you don't have to focus on that and this man was able to focus on that one little flower that one little flower he focused on that one little flower and because of his focus wasn't on his current situation it helped him get through that and um Anna Marie. He, he was able to have that joy and the other one was uh there was another story of I, I think it was another concentration camp i believe but this one was along the lines of um the prisoners were in this one i don't know what you want to say cabin or whatever but it had fleas did mm -hmm. you hear about that one yeah yeah there was fleas so bad and but because the fleas were so bad, the guards left them alone. They didn't want to go over there. So you see how that's like a blessing in disguise. And so um, in the midst of fleas, they had, dare I say, a certain amount of joy knowing that the guards left them alone. And so joy is not really what we think about offhand. You know, joy, you don't think about yippee, woohoo, joy. But actually, joy is something that, that that's within you. And joy is something that you can pull out even in the most dire circumstances. So joy doesn't necessarily match your circumstances. I think that's a, that's a big key about joy right there. And speaking of joy, um, I want to talk about Paul. You know, Paul, who wrote most of the New Testament... Paul had joy while mm -hmm. he was in prison. Yeah. He had joy. Mm -hmm. Now, how many people you know have joy in prison? I, I, I don't know anyone, mm -mm. to be honest with you. But Paul was able to have joy in prison. He sang yeah. while he was in prison. He praise God, you know. And, and the thing about it that, that's amazing is, is... Paul was going all over the place. He was spreading the good news. He was traveling, you know, here and there. And the enemy, the devil. It looks sunny there, yes. Yeah, so the, the, the devil tried to stop Paul. Mm -hmm. The devil was like, yo, 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 whoa, hold on. This man is like on fire. He's going everywhere preaching the gospel. Let's put him in jail. Mm -hmm. 
let's stop this. Let's put him in jail. Yeah. But what happened? Paul wrote while he was in jail. Yeah. He wrote to the uh, Philippians. He wrote and he had joy. Mm -hmm. Why, who's being persecuted? Yeah. And also, I mean, why he was in there, that give him time to, you know, reflect and think like, yes. instead of being, oh, poor mm -hmm. me, God, why yes. you allowed this to happen to me? You know, his focus was complaining, turned, yes, but yes. then he see the goodness. Yeah. And I think that's a key. It's like, wow. You know, like, come on, we need that today. You know, right. And, I mean, I'm I, I'm included. I mean, mm -hmm. some you know, you have some bad days, and you wake yeah. up, you're like, O M G. I don't you know? feel like getting up some sometimes some some morning, you know. But that brings me to another thing, and this is this is about myself, and I'm not saying every morning, but yeah. I notice I've gotten to a point where by default, <clears throat> I wake up, and I kid you not, I wake up, my intentions, my first intention is joy. When I wake up, my first intentions is to have joy. Yes. I don't know what kind of day is going to be ahead of me. I don't know. But when I first wake up, I got to have that joy. Mm -hmm. And obviously, I, you know, I, I talk to Papa God. Yeah. You know, I talk to it's the Holy choice, Spirit. It's a choice. You know, it, it's a choice. But I, yeah, and, but I, I was thinking, I was like, and if you don't have that joy when you first wake up, why even wake up? Mm -hmm. Why do you start your day if yeah. you don't have joy? Why? Yeah. Why? Mm -hmm. Start your day with joy. Mm -hmm. Joy is a choice. And it, it, it is by faith, you know. It, it is by faith. Um, it's not like, you know, things are going smoothly. No, that's not always the case. Amen. It's, it's because of who he is. If you really, you know, like understand like what Jesus have already done for us. It's like there's no excuse for us, you know, to not, you know, wake up each and every morning to like, Lord, today I'm going to just have, you know, a joy, right? It's a choice. It's a choice. You know, I can go like all, you know, get up in the morning and acting all grumpy and all mad and upset, right? But then like, I don't want that, you know? Yeah, even, even Mondays, even... um. Oh, let me scroll down a little bit. Oh, it looks sunny there in Minnesota. Yeah. yeah you know what? Most of the snow has melted. It's been, um, mm -hmm. it's been in the forties. I think down to fifties. That's considered really hot. So it, it, it it's no, it's, it's actually chilly right I now. I know it's it's chilly, but it's it's considered mm -hmm. hot. It, it, it's better than being nineteen or twenty degrees. Mm -hmm. So um, yeah, that's what's going on right now. But um. What was I saying? I was saying about joy, right? Yes. It's a, oh yeah, Monday. So it's like, you know, like uh, I used to work with with these people and it's like, they come in on Monday. It's like, oh, Monday blues. And I'm like, why? What, why Why does it have to be Monday blues? Why does Monday have to be blue? It, it doesn't have to be. And I, I tell you what, my um, daughter Aria taught me a lesson. Yes, joy is a choice. Mm -hmm. Aria taught me a lesson as a baby. I learned something from a baby. Mm -hmm. Check this out. I used to watch her sleep when she's a little baby. <laughs> you know, she's like six months. Yeah. You know, I used to watch her sleep. You know, you know how cute babies look. I, I watch her sleep, you know. And right before she wake up, she'll smile and she'll open her eyes. And I'm like, wow, what a gift is that? Mm -hmm. You know, then I thought, wait a minute. I don't even do that. Yeah. Why don't I do that? Why don't I wake up with a smile? Yeah. You know? She's she's always seemed to... And I got this from the baby. <laughs> and she always seems to have, like, this joy. I mean, almost with everything. It's it's funny to her. <laughs> yeah, she has a comedic side. <laughs> yeah. That's, yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It's, 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 it's funny. But I tell people at work, I, I'm like, yeah, you, you know what? It's Monday. But you know what? Some people woke up on Monday and uh, they're missing an arm. They don't have a leg. Or they woke up on Monday and they're in prison. Hi, Jamie. Or they woke up on Monday and, you know, someone died or something. Or maybe they didn't wake up. 
So be joyful that hey, you're here. Yeah. You have a job. You're still alive. You're still alive. You 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 have wake up to a new day. Amen. That means you know he 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 has God has extended you you know another day. He yeah. Bless you another day. Yeah. Just, so rebuke those Monday blues. Yeah. There's no such thing as Monday blues. There's no mm -hmm. such thing. Yeah, why can't we just like wake up like every day is Friday? How about that? Or you can think it like that. <laughs> every yeah. day is Friday. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Yeah, amen. <laughs> so what else is is it is it there about joy? Let's go to Galatians 5:22. Galatians 5:22. Oh, I thought you had it right there on your on the uh other Bible. Oh, you amplify? Okay, I can go there. No, 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 on this one? Honey, that's a passion. Yeah. There's no Galatians there? Okay. No, it's just all Psalm. Oh, that's the Psalm one. Yes, okay. just the Psalm. All right. Okay, Galatians 5. Yeah, we go to Galatians. And you know, I'm just so... I've been hearing stories lately of... Uh, this has been out for a while, obviously, but I've just been hearing stories of uh, gold dust on Bibles. I've been hearing stories of uh, oil. People's Bibles is underlined in like in gold, and um, I heard a story of just just uh, diamonds. And this has been out for a while. I know it's been going on for a while, but when I hear these stories, it just stirs up my spirit inside, right. and I'm like, wow. I you know I want that stuff. Why not? You know. Why not Galatians? Is it, oh, I got it. Well, that's one thing about Sticky. a paper Bible. Yeah, you, you got to actually find. Okay, five what? Twenty-two. Galatians five twenty-two oh, and twenty-three. Oh, she's out there playing. Yeah. Somewhere. Looking. Okay. Right. Five twenty-two. <laughs> right. Yes. What does I it got, say? I got the amplify. So. Uh, but the fruit of the spirit, you know, the, but the fruit of yes. the Holy Spirit, the work which, uh, which His presence within accomplish accomplishes, is love, joy, gladness, peace, patience. Yes. And and an, is it an even temper? Forbearance, kindness, kindness. goodness, Benem benevolence. Balance. Say that twice. <laughs> Faithfulness, goodness, and then oh, gentleness, yeah. meekness, humility, self-control, self-restraint, self contents, con oh, continence. Mm -hmm. Against such things, there is no, no law that can bring a charge. See, this is so that's amplified. So it really yeah. draws everything out. But joy is in there. Joy is one of the fruits of the okay, spirit. Let me go to another one. So joy is a fruit of the spirit. That's right. It's a fruit of the spirit that we have to develop. You know? Yes, and, and what is? is by, I'm huh? sorry, and it is by faith. It's an act of faith. You know what I mean? Mm hmm. Here, this is the L. The what? LNT. I mean, I'm sorry. N L T. Yes. New Living Translation. Yeah, but the let me see. But we who live by the Spirit eagerly wait to receive by faith the righteousness of God. The righteous, the righteousness God, God has promised to us. Six. Is this the right one? No. It should be 522. Oh, sorry. So while you find that, check this out. <laughs> Last week, oh my Lord. you know, my wife read from NLT and I said, oh, I really don't like the NLT. Guess what happened? I was given the NLT Bible and it's not that bad. However, I, I will say this. I like different Bibles for different versions. Mm -hmm. So, but my main one is Amplified King James. But I noticed certain passages just read and ring true to your spirit just in, in different versions of, of the of the bible you know amen yeah okay here we go this yeah this is the nlt first um 22 uh -huh. but the holy spirit produces this kind of fruit in our lives love joy peace patience kindness goodness faithfulness 23 gentleness and self-control 
There is no law against these things. And let me they tell know. you, that is the will of God. Mm -hmm. The fruit of the Spirit is the will of God. Mm -hmm. That's it. That's the will of God on your life. The fruit of the Spirit. Yeah. So, it's a choice, you know, like uh, trial, hardship, um, whatever it is that you're going through, really, you know, like when we... We are to develop all this fruit of the spirit. Um, God is, you know, he's, he's, he's all about our character, you know, because we are to become, you know, like Jesus. This is why we're going through, you know, hardship, right? Trials now here's, and yeah, now, now here's the word thing. Here's the word thing. I, I just recently, um. Uh, took on is sometimes backwards as it may seem sometimes backwards is the way forward sometimes backwards is the way forward so sometimes in the natural it looks like you're taking a step back but the holy spirit is guiding you and it feels like well i'm i'm going backwards this can't be right but it's it's the holy spirit for instance like paul when he was in prison that seems like a step back because now he's not free to to roam around so in the natural it's a step back but what did it do it actually it backfired on the devil because yes it, it contained paul but it advanced the gospel by paul being in prison it actually advanced the gospel mm -hmm. he was able to write the epistles he was able to write to the to the churches so being in prison, it didn't stop him. It didn't stop God. No. It, it, so, in other words, you can say it, it backfired on, on the enemy. Because yeah. Paul got done. He still did what he, he needed to do. Yeah. Being in prison didn't stop him. So, it's just like that Romans 8.28. What's that? What, what the enemy, you know, meant for evil. See, God can turn it around, you know, for his good. That's Romans what? 8.28. What does it say? I just... <laughs> uh, what the enemy meant for evil, God can turn it around all for our good. Wow, did you memorize that? Okay. I mean, just like what's going on right now. Well, like, when I go there, let me see. Romans... So I can say the whole thing. Romans 8, 28, right? So it's what's going on right now, too, with us, with this COVID-19 and everything, right? So there is good in it, amen? And I know that's not from God, right? The COVID-19 is not from God. But God turned it around for our good. Yeah, you ever notice with the COVID-19, it's like um, you have to wear the mask. So with the mask, you can't smile. Um, with the, Believe it or not, a smile can save someone's life. With the mask, or what's the other one? Six feet apart. Do you think it's by accident it's six feet apart? It could have been five feet apart. Five's a number of grace. It could have been seven feet apart. No, six. Six feet apart. Think about that one. So anyway, what does okay. it say? Okay, here we go. Um, and we know that God causes everything to work together for the good of those who love God and are called according to his purpose for them. Amen. All right, so Paul, Paul loved God, right? Yeah. And then Paul, it seemed like a step backwards. He got right. put in, in prison. Mm -hmm. And then... It seemed like, oh, this is it. This is the end, you know. This is the end of, yes. you know, the will or purpose uh, yes. for God in my life, you know. Or he could be like, give up or poor me at, at that moment. But he didn't. He, he just turned um, that moment, right? In his suffering, instead, like, he used that time, like, wow, God is still good. Yes. So, it, it all goes back and to the um, that one scripture. I mean, I think no matter what you're going through, if you could just remember Matthew 6.33. Matthew 6.33, right? Seek first the kingdom of God. Seek first the kingdom of God. So whatever it is you're going through, make sure you're doing Matthew 6, 33. Seek first the kingdom of God. Amen. Yeah. 
And so... Um, so you want me to read that? Yeah, if you want, yeah. Matthew 6, 33. Seek the kingdom of God above all else and live righteously and he will give you everything you need. Amen. Amen. Right? And so, as you can see, the, the devil tried to contain Paul by yeah. imprisoning him. But all this did was cause the gospel to advance. It did not slow down. It did That's not right. slow down the gospel. And the other famous story that uh, I wanted to get to you was um, during these times of trouble, during these times that, you know, we're going through, whether it's COVID, whether it's depression, mm -hmm. whether it's whatever it is, right? What does the devil want us to do? He wants mm -hmm. us to give up. Yeah. He wants us to give up. And the thing about, here's the thing about giving up. And um, this is a famous story. The um, three feet from gold. You know that one? Three feet from gold. Okay, I'm going to streamline the story. So three feet from gold is this guy went out and he borrowed money to, and to, to buy this machinery to, to dig for gold. And he got gold. He tapped into the gold vein and um, he used up the gold, you know, th those no more. He, he ran out. So then uh, out of frustration, he sold his his equipment to this other guy and then he went on to do something else. So the other guy that bought his equipment, he was thinking something else. He went out there and he dug and guess what? And three feet, he struck gold. So that means the other guy that dug, he quit three feet within gold. Three feet. What's the other saying? Winners and quitters, they always get, they get what they want, right? Winners win mm -hmm. and quitters get exactly that. They mm -hmm. just quit, mm -hmm. you know? Yeah. That's it. You, you, you just quit. So, and... The thing about quitting is you never know. You might be one foot, two feet, three feet from gold, one feet, one day, one year from your breakthrough. So that's why it's important for us not to quit, no matter what you're going through. And especially if you're going through some hardship right now, yeah. you're, su you're supposed to raise your hands. You're supposed to shout for joy. You're supposed to worship, especially during, during that time, is you're supposed to worship. Because the enemy want you to hoodie uh, i like the purple oh th thank you thank you f for the purple i uh we actually I, I actually all three of us have it but i'm the only one that that wear it and uh we got the purple actually from nevada and I, was it Purum? Purum, yeah. yeah yeah so this is like a keep